The Apple Watch was first announced in 2014, and since then, it has become the most popular smartwatch in the world. It has gone through several iterations, each one improving on the previous one in terms of performance, features, and design. The latest model, the Apple Watch Series 9, was released in September 2023, and it introduced a larger display, a faster processor, and a temperature sensor. But Apple is not satisfied with just being the best. The company is planning to launch a major redesign for the Apple Watch that will coincide with the 10th anniversary of the device, and it's going to be unlike anything we've seen before. This is the Apple Watch X, and this is everything you need to know. So, what can we expect from the Apple Watch X? Well, the first thing that will catch your eye is the new display. According to Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, Apple is working on a micro-LED display for the Apple Watch X. Micro-LED is a relatively new technology that uses microscopic LEDs for individual pixels. Micro-LED is more energy efficient than LED technology, and while it has some of the same benefits of OLED, it has a longer lifetime, and there's less risk of screen burn-in. Because of the pixel-level individual lights, micro-LED displays have faster response times and better contrast than other display types, plus the color is better and brighter. Apple has been investing a lot of money in micro-LED technology since 2015, and it seems like the Apple Watch X will be the first device to showcase it. The micro-LED display will also allow Apple to make the Apple Watch X thinner than the current models, as it will eliminate the need for a backlight. The Apple Watch X could have a display size of 46 mm, which would make it the largest Apple Watch ever, and it could have a resolution of 448 into 528 pixels, which would make it the sharpest Apple Watch ever. But the display is not the only thing that will change. Apple is also working on a new way for bands to attach to the Apple Watch X. Instead of the current slide and lock mechanism, Apple is considering a magnetic attachment system that will free up space that is taken up by the cutouts for the current band attachment points. Removing the band cutouts will provide more space for other internal components, which could lead to a larger battery and more sensors. An Apple Watch X with a new band attachment system would likely not be compatible with older bands, so you might have to buy new ones if you want to upgrade. But don't worry, Apple will probably offer a variety of new bands to choose from in different styles, colors, and materials. Some of the new bands that Apple might introduce are a leather loop band, a sport loop band, and a braided solo loop band. Speaking of sensors, the Apple Watch X will also have some new health features that will make it even more useful for monitoring your well-being. One of the most anticipated features is blood pressure monitoring. This is something that many people have been asking for, as high blood pressure is a common and serious health issue that can lead to heart attacks, strokes, and other complications. Apple has been working on a way to measure blood pressure using the Apple Watch for several years, and it seems like the Apple Watch X will finally have it. The Apple Watch X will be able to detect hypertension or high blood pressure by using a combination of optical sensors and machine learning algorithms. The watch will also be able to alert you if your blood pressure is too high or too low and give you suggestions on how to lower it or raise it. This could be a lifesaver for many people, especially those who don't have access to regular medical checkups. Apple has filed a patent for a blood pressure measurement system that uses the watch's heart rate sensor and a pulse transit time method. The pulse transit time method measures the time it takes for a pulse wave to travel from the heart to the wrist and uses that to estimate the blood pressure. The patent also describes how the watch could use machine learning to calibrate the blood pressure readings based on the user's personal data and other factors. Another health feature that the Apple Watch X might have is glucose monitoring. This is another highly requested feature, especially for people who have diabetes or are at risk of developing it. Glucose monitoring is the process of measuring the amount of sugar in your blood, which can affect your energy levels, mood, and overall health. People who have diabetes need to monitor their glucose levels regularly, and usually do so by pricking their finger and using a device called a glucometer. However, this can be painful, inconvenient, and expensive. Apple has been rumored to be working on a non-invasive way to measure glucose levels using the Apple Watch without the need for blood samples. The Apple Watch X could use a technology called Raman spectroscopy, 
which involves shining a laser on the skin and analyzing the reflected light to determine the glucose concentration. This would be a game changer for people who have diabetes, as it would make glucose monitoring easier, cheaper, and more comfortable. Apple has filed a patent for a glucose monitoring system that uses Raman spectroscopy and a watch band with a laser emitter and a detector. The patent also describes how the watch could use machine learning to adjust the laser intensity and the detection sensitivity based on the user's skin type and other factors. Of course, the Apple Watch X will also have all the other features that we love about the Apple Watch, such as fitness tracking, heart rate monitoring, ECG, fall detection, sleep tracking, and more. It will also have the ability to make phone calls, send messages, play music, control your smart home, and access Siri. And it will run on the latest version of watchOS, which will bring new apps, watch faces, and improvements to the user interface. The Apple Watch X will be the most advanced and versatile smartwatch ever made, and it will be the perfect companion for your iPhone, iPad, and Mac. So, when can we expect to see the Apple Watch X? Well, there is no official confirmation from Apple yet, but according to German, the Apple Watch X will be released in 2024 or 2025, depending on how the development goes. That means we still have a long way to go before we can get our hands on it. But that also means we have plenty of time to save up for it, because it won't be cheap. The Apple Watch X will likely be the most expensive Apple Watch ever, and it might even cost more than some iPhones. But considering all the features and benefits it will offer, it might be worth it. After all, this is not just any watch. This is the Apple Watch X, and it's the future of wearable technology. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel, Tech Pulse Pro, and hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.